oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like we have so much to catch up on. First of all, apologies for no video last week. I didn't have much to share. I'm leaving for Vancouver on Wednesday, so in less than 48 hours, and I don't think that it's fully settled in. My birthday's on Sunday. We're flying back on Sunday, so I'm just kind of like, I have no idea what to wear. I have no idea what to pack, and I really wanted to be home for my birthday to be able to celebrate with my family. So our flight leaves Sunday morning from Vancouver at eight in the morning. So we should be back in LA if everything goes smoothly. Mercury is in retrograde, knock on wood. But uh, we should be back in LA by like 11 o'clock in the morning. I think all of these products are liquid. They're exactly where I left you guys last night when I was packing up. I'm getting ready right now for my nail appointment and I have some sad news. I'm, I'm pretty bummed, but I don't think we're going on our trip anymore because Matt doesn't feel well. He hasn't been feeling well the last couple of days and so it's probably best for us to not go <laughs> and honestly like i don't really want to talk about it <laughs> because i know it's something that's like so out of our control uh in the last clips you saw i was packing for my trip and i wasn't sure if it was going to happen or not spoiler alert it did not happen we just knew it was not uh, a good choice for us to go on a trip with him being unwell not wanting to get anyone else sick and things like that and so that totally like threw a wrench in last week's plans because we were planning to be in vancouver wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday so five days and it was also my birthday week my birthday weekend and so like the whole week of plans just got totally turned around and I was expecting to have like a packing vlog for you guys, a travel vlog for you guys. And sometimes things just don't go as planned. And I honestly was feeling really down in the dumps for like Wednesday through Friday, just feeling bummed out about it. And I didn't feel like picking up the camera. So yeah, so the rest of the week, let me think. Um, my friend and I went on a hike on Saturday, the day before my birthday, so August 10th. And that was really, really nice. On my actual birthday, again, I wasn't able to spend it with Matt, which was really heartbreaking because we have been in each other's lives for a very long time. And so that was the first birthday in eight years that we weren't able to be together, but it's okay. You know, we're gonna make up for it. And you'll probably see in this vlog what we do to make up for it. We have plans to go to a restaurant I've been wanting to go to for a really long time. I worked out, you guys know I love to work out. I took myself to the beach. I did some reading, I did some journaling, some releasing. You know, as I entered 25, I came back home. My house was all decorated. My parents decorated my house and they surprised me with a slice of cake uh, my favorite cake ever in the world which is the princess cake from quarter sheets and I cried because there was like a whole saga with that cake I know my mom knew how much it meant to me I don't think my dad realized how much it meant to me and like the fact that they just like I don't know it made me very emotional I feel so lucky to have the people that I do have in my life even though a lot of things didn't go the way that I had planned. I had really been looking forward to this idea of like my 25th birthday and had hung a lot of hopes and expectations on it. And it was a beautiful day and I was really happy and felt really loved by all those people that I mentioned and all of you guys as well. It, it's, it was a big lesson for me that even though things don't necessarily go as planned, you can still you can make a different plan. And I'm someone who gets really attached to schedules and plans and expectations. I see myself growing and that makes me proud and also happy and excited. I'm really excited for this next year of life. Now we are in Mercury retrograde. Mercury went retrograde last week. And so with everything that happened last week, I was like, oh my God, yeah, this is Mercury retrograde. If you don't believe in Mercury retrograde, like that's fine, I do. Uh, and it was a little crazy, a little cuckoo. I have never had to cancel a trip ever in my life. And I don't know that I necessarily believe that everything happens for a reason, but um, things happened the way they did. And I still had a great week. I had a great weekend, I had a great birthday. And now I'm having another good week and, I, and I'm and i ready to pick up the camera. And today is Wednesday, today is the 14th. 
I just finished filming a TikTok on this makeup look. It's just like a no foundation, no skin tint, concealer only, um, no makeup makeup look. That was really wordy. That's not what I'm gonna title the video. I have a couple more videos that I wanna film today. I wanna film like a bag collection video. Earlier this week, I filmed a video sharing like my, my denim collection, my favorite white t-shirts. And so I'm going through different things that I wanna share and bag collection was something that a couple people asked me about. And what else, what else, what else? Oh, today I'm supposed to be getting in the new Mason Margiela replica perfume in PR. So I wanna do a first impressions of that is the Afternoon Delight perfume, which is a gourmand and I'm not really like a gourmand girl. So I'm interested to see what I think of it. Based off reviews, I think I actually might like it. Yeah, I don't know. I think that this vlog is just gonna be like a couple days in my life. I did wanna catch up with you guys. And I don't know what I really have in store for this weekend. Like I said, today I'm just gonna be filming. And that, at least right now, is kind of work, right? Oh, I also applied for the Sephora squad. So I'll leave the link in the description if you're interested, um, you can leave me a testimonial, just kind of, I don't know, I guess expressing your thoughts about me as a content creator and any sort of positive impact that I may have made. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to leave me one. It doesn't have to be anything super lengthy, just like a sentence or two, um, because I'm really, really excited about the prospect of that opportunity and the doors that that could open for me. Um, so yeah, I don't want to harp on and on about that, but that is something that I'm applying for and um, If you want to help add to my application through those testimonials, I would really appreciate that other than that I'm gonna get to filming. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Okay. It's a couple hours later I changed to film a video. I filmed a bag collection, but we're in the kitchen. Can you guess why? This might have given it away. We're gonna make a coffee because well, this is not the only reason, but I wanted to show you guys because I made a blueberry syrup last week. This was one of the things I did to try and like cheer myself up and like do fun things, do little things. So I made this little blueberry syrup, bloob syrup. It's super easy. I know blueberry coffee is like all the rage right now and blueberry matcha. I first had a blueberry coffee a couple years ago. I would get it from Dunkin'. I would just get a ice latte with blueberry syrup. It's so good. Um, but this, it is really good, easy to make at home. It smells like blueberries. So let's go ahead and make a blueberry latte. This is my go-to almond milk for coffee. And what am I looking for? Oh, I'm gonna fill this with ice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and brew two shots of espresso. I'm gonna use this capsule today. This is the Sunny Almond Vanilla. It's limited for summer and I kind of want to start moving into pumpkin coffees and stuff. So I'm trying to use up the last two sleeves I have of this. I'm also thinking it would be really nice to go outside and read right now. Hmm. I'm like, I feel like there's other things I should be doing like editing and whatnot, but maybe we'll have a little moment out there. You know what? While that's brewing, I'm gonna go and change into something that isn't this. Okay, I changed, but I changed my mind. I'm not gonna go outside right now. I don't feel like being in the grass when I'm gonna have to come back in to keep filming later. But I think I will have a little reading moment inside. And then after we make this, I'll talk to you guys about the books I'm reading right now. Well, book. Okay, now our espresso is ready to just pour over. And then we'll add a little bit of the blueberry syrup. Lately, I've been just measuring it out and doing a tablespoon, but I don't feel like dirtying the dish. So I don't know how much that was. I kind of want to make a cherry syrup next. Have like a, I do have a bag of cherries, but I don't want my mom to get upset if I use them all because she does like to eat them. And then some almond milk. Oh yeah, I put a lot of blueberry syrup because look at the color. Let's taste it. Yeah, delicious. And it's really good with that almond flavor from the capsule. Let's go sit down on the couch and we'll talk about these books. This is like such a little cozy corner. I never really sit here and I never film here, but perfect to talk about books. So this is Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I just finished this yesterday. And in fact, I read most of this yesterday. 
I had been wanting to read this all summer, like since whenever it came out, I don't remember when the release date was, but I have been wanting to read this forever. And I was on the wait list at my library for weeks and my boyfriend surprised me with it as a little like pre-birthday gift. So I started reading it on my birthday when I took it to the beach. And then I, like I said, read most of it yesterday. So good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it four stars. Spoiler-ish, so like if you don't want any spoilers at all, maybe skip this part. I'm not gonna say anything that happened, but I'm gonna give my thoughts on some things. I feel like the last, maybe from chapter 45 to the end, it was just like that. It's this much. And I was like, really? Like, whoa, it's over already? Like, it just felt like, oh my God, the book needs to end. Like, let's let's quickly end it. It felt a little bit rushed to me. I know that the endings in romance books, like there's really not much to be said. Like there's not gonna be an epilogue. So I think it's just my own problem and wanting like more closure with the characters and the story, but it was, it was really good. It was, I was <laughs> sending pictures to my boyfriend of different passages. I felt like the, I told, I kept telling him like, this is, he's so you coded. Um, I loved the forehead kiss scene. <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was a really, really lovely read, a quick read, a perfect summer read. I'm so grateful that he got it for me and that I was actually able to read it during the summertime, even though like it didn't feel like the most summer specific book if that makes sense. And really, like, honestly, like, I could barely tell that it was taking place during the summer, except for the fact that, okay, obviously it's Minnesota, it's not frozen over at the time of the, uh, that it took place, but nothing really felt so summer specific to me. Like, a couple hours later, I started reading the second installment of the Neapolitan novels by Elena Ferrante. I finished My Brilliant Friend last week and I got to the last page, my jaw dropped. I will be honest and say that for me, it was a slow start. The, the first installment, my brilliant friend, it was a little bit of a slow, it was a little bit of a slow start, and I feel like I had to force myself through the first 50 pages. Normally, that makes a book like not good to me. I don't think that I should have to force myself through anything. I do not feel that way about my brilliant friend. I loved the world. I love the story. There are so many characters. It's so rich. I love the writing. It's just so like. I don't know. I just feel so like enamored with the characters. And the second I finished My Brilliant Friend, I put the story of a new name on hold at my library. And yeah, so I that is the book that I'm reading now. One of my friends told me that this is her favorite of the series and that it's the best one. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just stay in this corner, read a little bit, enjoy my coffee. It's a little bit later in the afternoon. It's like four right now, but I'm about to marinate some chicken. So I wanted to show you guys because I have been making this chicken at least once a week. I should lower the camera so you can actually see. I think that's like a tad bit better. I'll just crouch down a little bit. But I am typically someone who can just like put seasonings on chicken and like, I feel like the way that I cook it is relatively juicy and it's like fine. I honestly don't need my food to taste all that. I am a little bit of a robot in that respect. Very simple, straightforward, didn't take any extra time to marinate, but since I have some extra time, a lot of extra time now, I've been trying to make dinner at least a couple of times a week for my parents as well. Less thing for them to think about. And then I'm also eating it as well. And they prefer their food to have a little bit more flavor. Uh, so this has quickly become like my easy chicken marinade. I'll either do it on chicken thighs or chicken breast. Today I'm gonna do it for chicken breasts because we get chicken thighs with the bone in and the skin and then we manually take all the skin off and I just don't really feel like doing that right now. And I have some chicken breast thawed out already. So let's just get into the marinade. Like I said, super simple and I'll show you guys how I make it. So I'll just take a small bowl. I'm gonna put this all into a bag later. A little bit wasteful, but it's just, it's easier. So take a bowl, put a little bit of olive oil. I just totally eyeball it. I think that will be enough. And then next is the lemon. We, I prefer to use yellow lemons for this recipe, but we have a lemon and a lime, so I'll use both. This is kind of like a Mediterranean-ish style chicken, I guess. Uh, so yeah, so I'll just squeeze the lime in there. Our lemon trees are not producing any lemons right now, which is kind of a bummer. I guess it's just not their season. 
If you want, you can also add the lemon zest. I am too lazy and don't feel like dirtying my little like planer thing. The next step is the garlic. Use as much garlic as your heart desires. The more garlic, the more flavor. As you can see at the end of this little bowl, there's just some small cloves. Sometimes I'll take the time to actually mince the garlic. Again, if you can't tell, I'm feeling kind of lazy today. So I'm gonna use the garlic press which is totally fine because it's not like we necessarily need the garlic to be super finely chopped anyway. For the first tiny little clove, I probably could have peeled more and done multiple at once. Yeah, that would have been a better idea. So I'm going to go ahead and peel the rest of these. <laughs> it's gonna take me a while. I did more garlic, now I'm gonna add a couple of spoonfuls of Greek yogurt. It doesn't have to be this kind, doesn't have to be 0%, whatever kind you like. I like this kind, this is what's in my fridge. Let me scoot down. I meant to grab a fork so, it could, so I could whisk, that's fine. And then salt and pep, I'll do about I wanna say like a teaspoon of salt. This is a quarter teaspoon measurement. Honestly, I'd always rather have my food be under salted and then I just add more salt once it's cooked. But I do love my food very salty. And then some oregano. This is just the kind from like Northgate or whatever. I just eyeball it and I like whisk it together. But I got a spoon. I think I'll add a little more olive oil. And then I'm gonna throw the chicken breast into a freezer bag right now. So I'll come back when that's done. No, like I hate handling chicken. I think it's really gross. I think it's really ugly. So I'm gonna spare you guys. <laughs> chicken in a bag, I wash my hands and everything. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in here. And then I will zip this up, making sure to get rid of any sort of little air pockets. And then, <laughs> like massage it. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this sit for about two hours. You can let it sit for 30 minutes. Um, I recommend at least an hour, but there have been times where I'm in a time crunch and it's just 30 minutes and it's fine. Two hours, five hours overnight, I'm sure would be even better. I've got two hours until I kind of want to cook this. So this is just gonna be sitting waiting for me until then i'll probably stick it in the fridge right now it doesn't look very good <laughs> friday morning and it is 5 20. i just woke up and made my bed and i'm gonna get ready for pilates right now i like to wake up extra early so that way i could have time to like slowly get ready eat something and not be rushed on my way there. I'm also filming a vlog for TikTok, so I probably won't film a lot of clips of me getting ready for the vlog. <laughs> Anyways, I am tired, but I do need to get ready. Okay, let's do this. Last night I set out my little outfit, so that way it's easy. When I wanna do the TikTok, I'll probably also grab a sweatshirt to throw on, at least for the way there. Shorts, a sports bra, tank top, grippy socks, and then this is the perfume of the day. It came in yesterday. It's Afternoon Delight from Mesa Margiela Replica. I love it, and I'm not someone who tends to love really gourmand, really sweet perfumes, but this has like a sandalwood and a musk in it that I adore. This is the fit. I'm pretty sure I was wearing this the last time I went to Pilates in the vlog. I'm gonna bring these pants in case I go anywhere afterwards. I probably throw my hair into a little bun when I get there because I don't feel like slicking it back. And she is really big today. And make a little snack before I head out.
I'm reading my book on my little rock. I feel like I shouldn't be here too long though because I didn't put on sunscreen because it's so Saturday, you guys. I kind of stopped vlogging yesterday because once I got home, I took a shower and I wasn't really doing anything that interesting. I filmed a couple TikToks and I also started editing the YouTube vlog. It was starting to get kind of long, so I was like, you know what? I'm not really doing anything. It's kind of mundane. Let me just not pick up the camera. I had a really like relaxing rest of my day. Like I said, I did some laundry. My mom and I had Chipotle for dinner and the three of us, my mom, dad, and I were just kind of hanging out in the kitchen and chatting and then I came up and I, I basically read myself to sleep. I was asleep by like 10, so very uneventful Friday, Friday night. It's 12.40 right now. I woke up around like 6.45 and I had a pretty slow morning. I was thinking about going on the treadmill for a walk, but I was like, I think when Matt wakes up, I wanna ask him if he wants to go on a walk with me outside. It was like a really gloomy morning, but I knew that the sun was gonna come out later. So I was like, you know what? Let me just kind of like do some things around the house. If he doesn't want to, I'll just walk on the treadmill later. I had breakfast, had my coffee, did a little bit of reading, and then was editing the vlog some more. So I have like completely edited down Thursday and Friday and he woke up I invited him and he wanted to so we went on a walk and it was really lovely It was nice and warm outside. I have just been loving getting outside as much as possible Really taking advantage of the warm weather the sunshine. I live in Southern California So to be honest the weather is nice all year round, but it's not this hot and warm all year round and normally I and miserable. I hate the summer weather, but I have been embracing it and just like tapping into that energy and I don't know. It's really filling my cup and I love to just go on walks with Matt, chat with him, and we got a little coffee, he got a bagel. I had already eaten. It has some of his bagel though. I've been loving a soy milk latte lately. This is a soy milk latte with an extra shot, so triple shot, so delish. We're going out on a date tonight to Etra, which is in Melrose Hill. I'm really, really excited. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I have like two polar opposite ideas of like really stepping out and wearing like a little mini skirt with i think it's gonna be too hot for like a knee-high boot moment but i was thinking of wearing like this giraffe print top with a mini skirt or i'll just do like an understated top with jeans and heels i don't know i don't know what i'm feeling i really need to wash my hair so that's what i'm gonna do now i think like i said it's 12 40 i need to be ready by 5 40. i told him i want to get there a little early so we have time to take some pictures he is he is the best <laughs> No one knows my angles like Matt. This has been eight years of training and Matt and the Digicam are like a match made in heaven. All my best pictures are with the, when the two of them join forces to just create magic. <laughs> I swear. Uh, but yeah, so I'll, I'll do that. I'm planning to wear my hair natural today. I feel like something that is a challenge for myself all the time is like unlearning the, the idea that like curly hair isn't going out hair and that like I need to straighten my hair every time I go out so I will show you guys my curly hair routine maybe. The thing is it's best on like soaking wet hair so that's like immediately after the shower so like it comes out the best when I don't take any time to dry off at all and like get changed so maybe what I'll do is I'll just like walk you guys through the products that I normally use and I'll plan to share a curly routine another time in another vlog though I do have a couple on TikTok so I'll link those in the description if you're interested but yeah time for the egghead to get washed and this was the walking fit for today i feel like i'm pretty much always in something like this but this is not that one gray shirt that i always wear on walks this is old from outdoor voices and then these are my usual crz yoga shorts and my belt bag okay actually i'm not allowed to shower until i fold and put away this laundry that has been waiting to be put away for days
Okay, besties, shower is done. Skincare is on, the hair routine is done, body care is on, I'm moisturized, we're set. Let me walk you guys through it because let's just say it's 140. It's 140 right now. So I actually used this shampoo and conditioner today along with this shampoo, which is like my ride or die for making my hair feel so clean. This is the Fido Fido Cyan shampoo, but I borrowed these from my mom's shower. I was talking to her on the phone right before I took a shower and she told me, try them, they smell really good. So I tried these, they do smell really good, which I already knew because they had these at Berries. I used to go to Berries a lot, but let's get into the curly hair routine because I did do it like immediately in the shower. So I always start with this. It's a 10 leave-in. I use this on my hair, whether I'm blowing it out or wearing it curly. I've been using this since high school. And then, hmm, okay. This is the curl cream that I love and usually use. This is the Weed Ad Curl Puncher Curl Cream. I open it, I'm in there like soaking wet, trying to put it on. Oh, some came out. Anyway, it wasn't, it wasn't coming out. But luckily I have this little travel one, which is also from Weedad. It's the Advanced Climate Control Feather Light Styling Cream. So this is particularly for humidity, I think. I use it sometimes. Uh, I take it, obviously I travel with it. It works just as well, but this is my usual. I love this stuff. Clearly I need to go buy more. And with both of those, the leave-in and the curl cream, I go through my hair like I finger comb my hair and then scrunch and then I go in with a mousse also weed ad I have all weed ad products not sponsored not an ad they've never sent me anything but I started using their products and I loved it so I just never really tried other curly products this is the vital curl plus soft defining mousse that's another thing is that all of my products are from all different lines so I know that they have lines for like based off of curl type I think that like a couple years ago, my mom had bought stuff randomly because she also has curly hair and she didn't really use them because she always straightens her hair and I just adopted them and started repurchasing myself. For the mousse, I'll take like a golf ball size amount and then I glaze it over my hair and then scrunch. My hair was really soaking wet because I had just turned off the shower and started my routine. But if I'm ever out of the shower and my hair starts to get drier than I want, I'll spray with water in between steps. Gel, also a weed ad product. This is the Coil Infusion Styling and Shaping Gel Cream. This is like a nice thick gel. Sometimes I do prefer a more watery gel. I love the gel from this line, the Curl Quencher Gel, but I have a good amount of this right now, so I'm not gonna buy that yet, but I think when I buy a new gel, I'm gonna get the Curl Quencher because it is a little bit of a thinner, more watery consistency, which I prefer. With the gel, I go over like this and then scrunch it, and then that's it. Now I'm gonna let my hair air dry. Hopefully it's done soon. I do see some frizziness. That's okay, that's okay. Once it's totally dry, I will take a hair oil and then scrunch out the crunch. It's a little bit later, I had lunch. I literally just finished having lunch and I was editing while I was eating but I wanted to do like a little taste test with you guys because I went on a hike the other day and it was led by like two, two of the instructors from the place where I go to Pilates and we got like the little sample packs of Element. They gave us like this really cute little goodie bag. It had this, it had a hat from Adenola. They gave us like juices and some like Pilates socks. And I love Element, but I have only ever had the grapefruit flavor, which I love. And I've never really tried any of the other flavors. And my mom also likes Element, so I let her pick what flavors she wanted. And I got stuck with mango chili and the hot chocolate, which I've heard they're good. But I thought we could try this one together because... Interesting. I mean, I love, like, a mangonada fruit with tahine and stuff. So, like, I feel like I'm going to like it. But to drink it mixed in water, I don't know. Let's see. kind of inhaled it. And... I think the key to making Element taste extra good is adding ice to your water. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. So let's go ahead and pour that in. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> it went everywhere. <laughs> it's like up my nose. It tastes like drinking like a Lucas. I used to love those to get them from the ice cream truck. I don't know if I, I love that. I don't know. I mean, it's good. I do like that kind of flavor. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Would I get it again? I don't know that I would get like a full pack, but like if I had one for every 10, like, cool. 
That's how I feel about it. Love Lucas Candy. Love tahini on fruit. Love a spicy marg. So like, yeah, I like it. Okay, I should get up more. I think it's getting it's getting upgraded to a 7 out of 10. Maybe even a 7.5. I'm into it. I'm into it. It's time to get ready. I just laid out all of my makeup. So this is what I'm thinking. Okay, this is where I'm going to set you guys up because, like I said, I'm also... Not also, but I'm filming a Get Ready With Me for TikTok. Hopefully it stays. My tripod looks a little crazy and you guys are balanced on a book on my bed. <laughs> Perfect. What is that pink? Oh, it's my, my sponge. Okay. Good, good. I don't know if that's like really a great angle for me. You guys have like a crazy view of my armpit. <laughs> is this better? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I think I will just check in with you guys with the final product. Okay, you guys, I finished the makeup, scrunched out the hair mostly. It's still pretty like, but I'm really happy with how the makeup turned out. I'm gonna start to edit. I have, I have some time, but this is where I get in trouble because I have time to edit in theory, but I still have to pick out my outfit and I probably wanna film an outfit video, but I really wanna post this like right now. So hopefully I can be fast. Okay, this is the outfit, but my dad and my brother are here. I guess they're going to a football game. But you guys. I love it. And the earrings. I really love how the outfit came together. It was totally the opposite of what I thought I was gonna wear. I thought I was gonna wear a mini skirt. This is my mom's. These jeans are from Ruff. I will make what I can as always, but I just feel so chic, like. And then my little baby Delina is the fragrance of the night. Okay, here is a better view of the outfit. I think. And it's 540, so I'm gonna be picked up any second now. Mm -hmm.